Plug Seeker. So good afternoon, this is the Plug Seeker. Today I'm just going to do a very quick video to show you how to use one of the new Polar Ultra Chargers that comes with the option of using a debit card as well as a Polar Plus contactless card. This is the charger on London Road in Sutton. Now just a bit of background here, usually the Polar Ultra Chargers you use a Polar Plus card which is a monthly subscription. Now that costs £7.80 per month currently and for that it usually costs 9p per kilowatt to use one of these ultra chargers. Now I believe due to partly to some new um, legislation coming through, the newer um, rapid chargers being installed across the country will have to have the option of being able to use a debit card to activate the machines. And this is one of the first polar ultra chargers in my local area that has this option. Now using the Polar Ultra Charger with a normal debit card there is a £1 startup fee and the price thereafter at the moment is 22p per kilowatt which is obviously a bit more expensive than the Polar Plus membership members get. So I'm going to give this a try now just to see if this works and we'll see how it goes. So this is the charger. As you can see it looks very much like the normal charger except that you'll see there is two options on this charger uh, one is for the normal polar membership which is the same as before but also now on the left you've got a, another option that says contactless payment and that is to allow people to use a debit or credit card so let's uh, give this a try so the first thing you do and you look if you scroll down you'll see there are two um, contactless areas uh, the bigger area on the right is called the A pad and then on the left we have a smaller pavement area called the B pad. So let's go through and try this. Now as you can see there is a £1 minimum payment for using a debit card per charge of 22p per kilowatt. So here we go. So first press contactless payment. And as you can see, it says touch the card, your debit card on the A-pad. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, and after I did that, it now says, please touch it on. It now says, after doing that, please touch it on the B-pad. So I'm doing that now. And following that, it says processing card. You have paid, thank you. And now you go back to the main screen and it now says welcome as normal. So as it normally would do, it's asked you for your charger type, which is gonna be Chad Mo from my leaf. So I'm gonna press that now. And it now says connect with vehicle. So let's do that. So connected to the car as I would normally with any other ultra charger and it does the normal starting screen checkups that's the sound that the connection has been made and there you are it's charging now as you can see my car is virtually fully charged so I don't need this charge and so I'm going to finish the charging session now so it says now you type prep your debit card again on first terminal A which is the middle terminal. So I'm going to do that again now. And it comes up, cut, accepted. And it says, okay, it's charged me one pound. So the charge is now finished. So I'm going to disconnect the car as well. So disconnected. And there we are, all done. So there you go, that was pretty straightforward I think. I think it's good to see some of the rapid chargers having the option of a contactless payment. I think it's something that many EV drivers have asked for for a long time. The advantage of having the access to some ultra chargers with a debit card means that if you're on a long trip and you're not usually someone who uses the Polar Network, 
then you've got the option of using them as a one-off using the debit card, albeit at a slightly higher rate than the members use. Some people may not have polo chargers in their local vicinity, or they may find that they charge from home 99% of the time anyway. Now, I think if you're in that sort of bracket, there is no great value to spending £7.80 a month as a member. However, I think, as I've said in my previous videos, at current prices, should you use a Polar Ultra Charger to charge from very low on more than two occasions on average a month, it is actually cheaper to probably go for the subscription model, which, as I've said before, I think at the moment is one of the best price networks that there is in the UK. So I think today we've found that using a Polar Ultra Charger with a debit card is exceedingly easy, and I hope that this is an option that will be rolled out on many different networks, including Polar, as this will give the consumer much more choice and freedom, especially when traveling around different areas with different networks. However, I think there is still a role for having RFID cards in that it does allow, if you wish to use one particular network as a member, you have the option of a subscription model as well. So I hope you found this short video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please also share this video on social media if you find it has been helpful. In the meantime, this is the Plug Seeker signing off. Happy charging.